It's Fandom Friday. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome in. I'm Zordon of Doom. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I make content here on YouTube. You can call me Zor, you can call me Zordon, whatever you'd like. I also stream on Twitch, mainly RPGs and chat in with chat. But yeah, I also have original music up on Spotify, Apple Music, and here on YouTube if you would like to check it out. Links are down in the description down below. This week, I thought I would try out something completely different that was requested two weeks ago by Venom Hedgehog. If you would like me to react to other things, please put it down in the comments. I'll be reacting to the song from Bayonetta Origins. I know nothing about Bayonetta other than the fact that there are a lot of really pretty girls. And I know that Bayonetta Origins, I think the main character is much younger. It's like a prequel to the Bayonetta series. It has been on my list to try. I feel like both Bayonetta and Double May Cry are two of the series that I do want to play sometime in the future, but we'll definitely see. So the song is called Together in the Moonlight Forest, I think, according to Hedgehog. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Oh, this feels like a ballet, like Swan Princess, Swan, swan Princess. <laughs> the, the swan bell. Oh my gosh. Is it called Swan Princess? The voice is very sweet. May make it a little louder for me. What language is this? Or is this a faux language? Definitely re reminiscent of ballet. Oh. This reminds me of a specific song. I really like the art style as well. Orchestra, the strings. Oh, she looks older here. Thank you. 
Or maybe just her hair changed. It sounds very magical, very mystical. I try to look up if Hitomi Kurokawa has done anything else. Not that I know of. I haven't played Bayonetta. So Bayonetta 3, Astral Chain, even Smash Brothers Ultimate, which is interesting. I really like the whimsicalness of the song and the music. It's very cinematic, very ballet. The melody kind of reminds me of raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up in strings. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. The song was reminding me of my favorite things. And I did say Swan Princess. I think it was Swan Lake. It has that sort of whimsical nature and bounce to it in spite of it being like almost a fairy tale and it goes really really well with the character design and the art i love it this was really really cool i'd be very interested to know about the i guess the language that is sung in this if it's similar to near where near has the language is french like but it's not actually a real language. Yeah, I would love to know. Anyways, I would love to know what you guys think. Have you played Bayonetta Origins or have you played any of the other Bayonetta games? Is there a Bayonetta song from the other games that I should react to or from this that I should react to? Leave it down in the comments down below. This was very sweet. I really like this. All right, guys, that is it for this week's Fandom Friday. I hope to see you again next week. Next week, I'll probably be reacting to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the first take. Just wanted to change it up a little bit. That is it for me. Don't forget that no matter how it is you are feeling, you are a W E S O M E. You are a W E S O M E. All right, guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. You're fantastic. And I'll see you all next week or tomorrow for Sonic Saturdays. Bye bye. Oh, can